That opinion will say aye. aye. The contrary, no. The ayes have it. Yeah. The uh, uh, Ross Robertson uh, to say uh, a few words. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Kia ora tato norera, atena koto matua, Mr. Speaker. Sir, it is um, with humility that I gratefully accept the honour that you, my parliamentary colleagues, have offered me to serve in this house as one of your presiding officers. Uh, not my first time. This 49th New Zealand Parliament is blessed with many new talents alongside seasoned politicians who are well accustomed to the delicate difference of opinion in this place. I will ensure that every member has the fullest opportunity to define, defend and deliver his or her vision according to the letter of the standing orders and speaker's rulings and in the spirit of engagement that our public expect. For this is a robust parliament, a place for full and vigorous debate. The contributions will be made with respect to the traditions of the House, as enshrined in our standing orders. This is a place where continuous streams of ideas are tested according to our standing orders and Speaker's rulings. It is like a river that flows from bank to bank so that its true potential is realised for all. Mr Speaker, I received an email from a seasoned parliamentary observer following an announcement that I was to be nominated as an assistant speaker. It read, Ross is back. But he thought those words applied to Winston Churchill returning as first sea lord. Mr, Mr Speaker, my duty is to keep debate within the standing orders. After all, these are the rules crafted for well over a century and a half of parliamentary practice in New Zealand, and it is my duty to ensure that they are upheld. I trust that we will work together, tato tato, to ensure that this House grows in public esteem, for courtesy is contagious, and we will all prosper if we keep within the standing orders. Tihei moriora, tēnā koto, tēnā koto, tēnā tato katoa. I call on government order, government order of the day number one.